So, I've been interested in resin 3D printing for quite a while, but I've always been a little bit afraid of it. After deciding to recently bite the bullet, I reached out to Elegoo and I had some questions about getting started and how to approach their products as a beginner. I'd talked to a lot of people who rated Elegoo pretty highly, so I was settled in on the fact that that would be my starting point. I didn't want to drop a bunch of cash, I don't think anybody does, on something that was just out of my league or wasn't suitable to my purpose. And I also didn't want to subject a product to any kind of unfair test because I'm an idiot. So Elegoo were pretty much confident that the Mars 5 Ultra was a great jumping off point for beginners. And they actually offered to send me out one, which was like super awesome and generous of them. So this obviously felt then like the right time to jump in unsurprisingly and just give it a shot. I've always been scared, I guess, of resin printing. I love printing terrain on my FDM printer and I knew all about the appeal of resin. It just seemed too complex, I guess, for me to dive into. And I felt that way for a very long time. I love technology, but I'm not an early adopter by any means. I need things to be plug and play because I love using technology, but not fixing it. So I've sat on the sidelines with regards to resin printing and I feel like I was doing this for the problems that I perceived to drift away or be solved at a manufacturing end or to be minimized to the point where it just wasn't really going to be a huge issue anymore. So with the Mars 5 Ultra on the way, I kind of decided it was a good time to just test the Elegoo ecosystem. They had been generous enough to send me out the printer, so I bought the Mercury X washing cure station and some detergent and some more bottles of resin. I kind of figured they'd send like one ball and I wanted to make sure that I just had some in the old bank. The Elegoo Mars itself has like a huge number of specs that will all pop up on the screen right now. But from the point of view of an actual true beginner, there's a couple of things that really stand out. First, there's the moving tray, which helps to peel each layer off the bottom of the tray and it results essentially the theory is it should result in less failures because the model pulls away from the build plate in a more controlled fashion putting less force on the print that is my assumption that is what i have read so they also included like this simple bib i hate mess especially with regards to resin i don't want it all over the machine and they just sent this little like bib thing to put around the plate when you're taking off the build plate, which is great. And the build plate itself doesn't have any kind of a screw or awkwardness or anything like that. It's literally just a latch bonk on you go and you're good. And finally, the machine is it's it's quote unquote self leveling, which I've seen. I've watched some videos and people said it's not self leveling. That's just like industry standard jargon and it's actually self zeroing. But I don't care what it is, because what it means is that it's not my problem. The machine handles it. I don't have to. That's perfect. So I went and I bought enough nitro gloves to make a proctologist blush, a load of rubber mats, uh, filters and funnels to pour stuff from one thing into another thing, and a bunch of containers and microfiber cloths and plastic tubs and a grow box. Uh, one of the major disconnects between my situation, I guess, and the people that I tend to see making 3D printing resin videos on YouTube is that they normally have a lot more space than I do. So I live in a small, cozy little house in a working class estate with my wife and neither of us want the house to be full of resin swells. It's just not something that we're interested in. So all the 3D printing will be going on in the shed. The grow box means that I can keep it out there and it will be safe and clean and isolated from any kind of dirt and dust. And I can pretty much fit the entire setup in there from printing and cleaning and, and everything just goes into the box when I'm done and it all gets closed up. It's perfect. It also cuts off any chance of additional sunlight or anything reaching anything, which is also great. The Elegoo detergent gives me a non flammable, non smelly cleaning option 
which is great because being something of a nervous Nelly, flammable chemicals don't appeal to me. And an easy detergent that doesn't mess with my messed up skin or risk setting my shed on fire, that's just a good solid option as far as I'm concerned. If you're anything like me, then doing new stuff, especially things that require a lot of like safety precautions and an underlying degree of worry can cause some trepidation. That is, I guess, what has held me back thinking about it more than any other factor over the years. I'm chronically ill and that comes with a lot of interruption to a standard day. Uh, on the wrong day, I have low to no energy and my hands shake a lot on my best days. And I just need to carefully balance out how much energy I'm spending or how much energy I need. It's a constant budgeting of energy basically to make it to the end of each day in a good condition. Uh, it might sound ridiculous, but it's something all or most at least chronic ill people will know. And adding something even simple that takes more energy into the mix is always an issue. And unless you've been chronically ill, it's actually very difficult to explain why and how tiring something can be when you add it in. So all that is to say, it's a bit of a challenge basically for Elegoo on this one with their Mars 5 Ultra because they've got a user who's afraid of not just it, but also the entire process of 3D printing. And it just has a lot of reasons to not like it, I guess. So the good news for all concerned, especially me, is that things have actually been incredibly smooth. Um, I may have been catastrophizing a little bit. I may not. I honestly don't know. So setup was super simple and all I had to do was take the printer out of the box, remove a bit of packaging, plug it in, but booey, we were good. The Mars 5 Ultra essentially looks after itself and all you need to do is remove some film from the tray and the LCD and the build plate and the machine does the rest. You turn it on, it runs some self checks and you're good to go. It'll tell you anything that is amiss and you can resolve it without major issue. You pour some resin into the bat, you stay below the max line and the USB key goes in. You take your design from the USB key and you print it. It's pretty easy. Um, they include Sheetu Box Basic and a key for Pro on the actual thing. It's very, very funky. I think I've got like 90 free days of Pro or something like that. So the first thing I printed was the test piece. I'm assuming that's the first thing everybody prints. And I printed it out and it came out really well, except for the fact that it absolutely annihilated itself to the bottom of the build plate. Like it would not come off for love nor money. And I reckon the reason for that is just the exposure was just way too much, like way too much. And it was a very, you know, flat surface and it's a very, very sticky build tray. So there was a lot of things going against me there. So then I went to one page rules and I printed some of their stuff. I printed the Elf Fleet Snipers, which were dope little models. And they printed so fast, it was terrifying. And then I printed the Stalker Great Screecher, which is like one of the new models that they have come out with. And it just looks lovely. And I printed that and it was fantastic. And all the while I'm learning a little bit. The, the supports are too tight or too hard. And I dial back the layer exposure by about 20%. And I dial back the bottom layer exposure to about half so that they separate easier. But the prints still stay very strong and I have no fails. So everything's going super smooth. No fail prints, no major problems. And I've worked through any apprehensions I have. And most importantly, folks, I'm learning here. Stupid me is learning and I'm adjusting and I'm adapting and I'm getting more comfortable. So all the prints were cleaned in the wash station with the detergent. Then I rinsed them in warm water just while I was removing the supports because you warm them up, it makes your supports easier to remove. And then into the curing station for about five minutes or so on just default five minutes for, for everything. Nothing seemed to over cure or be a problem. Everything came out super clean except for the Deadpool bust that I did. And that was entirely my own fault. That was the first time I'd ever self supported a model and I just placed everything really awkward and the solution was struggling to circulate across the surface of the model. So it wasn't going to clean properly. And that brings us to yet another worry that I had, which was that the software side of things 
would be really awkward and it just wasn't uh, she two box is really good and easy to use most solutions are single click and i know i said that i feel a little bit of removal from the overall level i guess of the 3d printing scene on youtube where i feel like they're actually too advanced to really be able to help me very much with with the state that i am in as regards a beginner but my god do they have a lot of videos answering every kind of question you could want like there's some stunning stuff out there and they seem to have thought of absolutely everything so hat is off to everybody who has ever made a video helping somebody with regards to 3d printing so the reason i wanted to make this video it's not a typical review by any means it's because i was obviously very worried about making the jump into resin printing i'm assuming a lot of other people out there are worried for either the same reasons as me or very similar reasons as me and all i did beforehand was try to self-educate a little bit on the bigger pitfalls uh, stuff like knowing to get myself a grow box and things like that or knowing about the the detergent is examples of stuff i just picked up watching other people's videos the main thing to take from this video frankly is that the elegu mars 5 ultra is a very good machine for beginners because i was the truest of a true beginner zero previous resin printing experience and a lot of worry about the process so hopefully throughout this video you'll have seen me painting miniatures that were produced on it and you can see for yourself the sort of quality that it's capable of because ultimately as a bunch of hobbyists that's what we want these machines for right we want an easy way to take a bit of control over our hobby and be less subject to the whims of global supply chains for everything that we want to buy we want to engage with the very talented makers of stls and enjoy their products so if you've been on the fence like i have and you've been waiting for a reason to jump in and a chance to do it then i would argue now is the time i don't know if it can get any easier than this i will say i would strongly advise getting not just the resin 3d printer but also the washing pure station which has been a huge time saver a big difference maker and just a very good part of the process so the big thing to take away from this is allow yourself time to be nervous do all your research invest time in developing good process and do not listen to the people who say that this stuff doesn't smell because it really does they're lying to you and you don't want this smell in your house. That's a major consideration for you, I promise. So once again, fair play to Elegoo for frankly having the guts to send me a review model because this was like the less than perfect environment by a distance for them. Talk about taking their life in their hands, giving a printer to an effective idiot who could have made a terrible, terrible go of things. But it, the printer held my hand the whole way. I don't really know how else to describe it. So if you want a good printer that does nice work and is going to give you good results and it costs $269, then this is the way to go. This is the one you want. So yeah, that's it. You can expect a lot more 3D printing content coming to the channel. I'll be making various miniatures for different games and little dioramas and exploring 3D printing as a hobby because I'm really into it. I've gone from being incredibly nervous about it to being absolutely psyched for it. So that's it hopefully you enjoyed the video hopefully you found some value to it hopefully if you're a beginner you understand that somebody else out there actually knows that nervousness and knows what it's like and overcame it and is now doing the thing that you might want to do so go off and do it so yeah all the best